It's NFL Combine Week. The tight ends just got done running the 40-yard dash. They're currently in drills right now, running routes, catching balls. But I got to talk about JT Sanders real quick because he got done running the 40-yard dash. And I got to spread my opinion here. I got to let you guys know, like I do every year, right after some of these players get done, I hop on here, shoot the video, and post it. But JT Sanders on his first run ran a 4 40-yard dash. And it was not looking good. It was not running hot. I saw a lot of comments on Twitter. People not liking the 40-yard dash on him. People not liking the size, adjust athleticism. Then we get to the second round. He runs a 4 6 40 40-yard dash, which is okay, which is a lot better. But it wasn't screaming. It's okay. It's good enough. Good enough is cool. The player props going into the day was set at 457 at the 40 yard dash so if you bet heavy on that to for him to run like a four six or more you're golden you made some money on him however when i look at him for dynasty fantasy football and that's where i'm projecting out here i look at him as an okay tight end prospect i look at him in the second round of dynasty rookie drafts where he's being mocked at a lot where a lot of people are selecting him and i'm like do i really need to make this selection because we're deep at wide receiver there's a running back run in the middle of the second round early middle of it that pushes back some of these wide receivers do i keep going wide receiver or i take that second tight end off the board right now the way i'm looking at this way i'm looking at his combine scores because he just ran the 40 yard dash i'm looking at the other positions i'm more excited about that and if he hits then i'll just pay up later I'll just do that or I'll try to catch him on the cheap later throughout the season or something like that. Considering rookie tight ends take time to develop, I'd rather invest in a player who's more likely to hit early in their career, who has more upside at a position that's deep in the draft. Maybe I can catch some fire there. I'm looking at the wide receiver position, especially at the latter part of the second round. I am not touching him early second round, middle of the second round of rookie drafts. However, when I look at his combine, it's okay. It's okay. It's good enough to get the job done. It's not over the moon, though. I don't think he won any money this weekend. I don't think he did that. It's okay. He did not lose any money either. He did not run too slow. I think it was all right. A little light in the pants for a 469, but we'll take it and we'll see what happens. We still got the production. We still got the tape, but still. When I look at the combine score here, and when I look at him going in the middle to late part of the second round of rookie drafts, I feel like it's best to pivot to the wide receiver position, and I do not see the wide receivers failing the combine tomorrow. Stick with this channel tomorrow because we're going to be talking about those wide receivers and running backs all day long. I would not be surprised if I drop 10 to 15 videos tomorrow. That means you're going to have to click that subscribe button, stop missing out, and I'll see you tomorrow for the running backs, the wide receivers, the quarterbacks, and that's going to go into Sunday and Monday. I bet you as well. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you then.